that were buffed in this most recent patch. You know? Yeah. Show your appreciation by rocking that character all the way to the end. And at the end of the day, Lucario truly can always win. Like, <laughs> um, but gonna be. Uh, there are some matchups that for Lucario, it's like Lucario Bowser. I'm pretty sure is. Uh, yeah, it's gotta be annoying. But you can win, theoretically. I mean, yes. Oh wow. Jen, untouched, just knowing exactly where Vivi's gonna be. <gasps> Did you see that? That double jump neutral here <laughs> to catch that option? Okay, finally finding a single hit, and it already leads to 46%. So you can see why Jen is so careful and respectful of Vivi's, you know, the potential that Vivi has, because a single uh, loss of uh, a neutral interaction cost him almost 50%. Like, think about that. And now, from here on out, he's at 127%. So the next one might kill him. Oh, my God. That was, <laughs> you know, sometimes you get 0 to 100, but if you don't close it out, wow, that was the tip of that that was the tip of that uh, up smash. But yeah, you have to close it out against Lucario at the end of the day. You give him quite literally two openings, that's your stock with High Aura. Okay, this Nair String gonna be Jen's main opportunity to get a BB2 that High Aura percent. You might just see a repeat of the slash stock where it all goes down to if you can close it out with a kill once game BB to high aura. Oh, nice back here. Gonna be sending him off stage, but no way. How many forward smashes has this guy landed tonight? He is so good with them. It's such a strong forward smash, and he uses it to all its strengths. Um, that catching. Jen's landing Nair definitely has a very solid hitbox on that move. You know, I'm actually... Because things right now are actually looking pretty good for me, at least in this game one. And I'm wondering, you know, Zomba is sitting in winners, uh, in grands. That as a matchup of Lucario versus uh, Rob might be very interesting to see. But nonetheless, what is staring us down right now with this matchup of Palutena versus Lucario. And one of the difficulties with it is this exact situation where, you know, Palutena kind of lacks very reliable kill setups. So if Vivi's at 111% with a whole bunch of aura to him, what is Jen going to do other than just get dieted? Yeah, right there, that's so tricky because when Lucario does that reverse aura sphere, your first instinct is that they're going to land with that hitbox and it can combo into things, but you can jump cancel at any time. So right there, um, Jen seeing that beer versus like, oh, I'm going to jump over this landing hitbox, but Vivi reading that gets that back air and wow, I mean, starting off bad and then not missing a beat the entire time. Such good, uh, such like a great punish came from Vivi because that is what your biggest strength needs to be as Lucario main is just knowing when to punish. You did that so perfectly. All right, starting off this next game. Oh, wow, nice job getting out of that combo really quick. Now Jen in the driver's seat, maybe able to get a bunch of damage this time around. No, it feels like Vivi's, in general, his own uh, defensive play, of, or at least his uh, disadvantage play, has improved a lot. He's not getting caught at the ledge for millions of percent anymore. Ooh, good opening once more. Is that gonna kill? Oh, it does. Uh, this, this, uh, this, like, middle ground is easily, like, when they're both at, like, around 70 and such, not the case anymore, but that's really when, like, the whole, uh, match, the whole stock can be decided against Sicario. It's, like, um, so important that Jen really plays perfectly in these present ranges. Oh, that's huge! The double Aura Spear charge into the back air confirm. And now this is once more a horror situation. If you're Jen, 111% onto BP means that he is he has massive amounts of aura, but at the same time, it's not super free to be able to actually kill him. You still like like a back air near the ledge will do it, but like you're not gonna be killing him with throws or almost any of the other moves in your kit that aren't a smash attack, so. There's so much mileage that still needs to be dealt, and Vivi is just not letting him catch up right now. Yeah, right now, Vivi's going to be, like, um, making sure to avoid, like you said, that back throw and uh, just kind of stay on the ground like he is right now because 
The only way Paltane is really killing you right here is with like a jump read with either up smash or up air. So seeing the super grounded VV and now buff dash attack, that might have been the but buffs right there. That seems like a really good hitbox. Oh man, look at him dancing around. He has not been hit once since Ben has respawned from the Halo platform. Finally, a single hit has landed. How did he not get hit by that up smash? And even now, Vivi alive at 155. Any move from him could, oh. Yeah, that was, honestly, both of them, a single move could have killed. So, if you're Jen, you have to breathe a bit of a sigh of relief, but you can't be too comfortable because you're still down by so much. Yeah, if you're Jen right now, the biggest story is gonna be how well you hold advantage state, um, because I think at this point, you let Vivi get his footing one more time, you're, you're not gonna win this game. You're gonna have to just never let Vivi get momentum again, because you saw how fierce he was with it. Ooh, and this could be some momentum on the ledge. Good patience. Yeah, um, look at this last stock of Jen is actually coming alive right here. How much is it? Is it too little, too late? At 93%, he already has to be worried about so many options that Lucario has available. Oh, look at these aerials. They're so scary. That neutral is not enough to actually kill, but at this point, there's not much wiggle room left. Jen forced to be shielding in the corner with a little bit of advantage himself. Doesn't even offer back throw. Wants to keep it fresh because he knows that's going to be one of his best tools. The far reach of that Force Palm is going to be keeping Jen at bay. But that back isn't enough to do it. Not enough even still. Oh, and nice tricky recovery right there. Using the bonk, um, making Jen pull the trigger a little early on that up smash. And right here, you see Jen just, oh, I was going to say, just stay still. Like, it's so terrifying to even walk near Lucario, who's doing these beer reverse aura spheres, doing these fading back airs. Yeah. And so Jen was that whole stock, he was able to just kind of stand still and get chip, and then right there, Vivi reads it at the well, end. Well, I think that there was actually a bit of a flub. I think he threw out a move. Um, we can get a little read on this. He dropped shield, jabbed in the wrong direction. I think maybe he thought he was facing the other way or something of the sort. Uh, I'm not Very sure what possible. exactly he was looking for, but... Nonetheless, that's going to be Vivi taking it 2-0 oh, over Jen. Now having his own shot at Zomba in the winner's uh, side of Grands. And Vivi, I'm actually curious if we could possibly find out when he got knocked into losers. Because because uh, he is, he's been having to do a crazy run here tonight. 